you've probably seen this extra slot on your switch like this one also this one it's the slot for fiber optic connection however we cannot just connect this fiber optic cable to this slot directly because it's just empty this is the slot reserved for fiber optic module like this and th this fiber optic optic module will convert the fiber optic signal to the electronic signals so that's the reason why the signal can go in through the fiber optic cable so why this fiber optic module is being sell separately one thing is about the cost you may just don't need it like this one but more, more importantly there are many different kind of fiber optic module in the market based on the connector distance fiber optic cable in this video, I'm not going to cover all the possible solutions. I just try to pick up the module. I think it's good for a project. And I put totally three. I prefer the bi-direction -direc module because it's need single fiber optic cable to, for both transmitting and receiving. As we know, the communication always need to be two ways, just like the talkie-talkie. It need to separate the transmitting and receiving. By direction, module use different wavelength to separate the transmit and re transmitting and receiving. So you can get the job done just with the single fiber optic cable. The fiber optic module working in pairs. So we can see, usually we have we need to deploy one to the uh, switch and the other close to like this application is the camera we also can see there's different color that's reason the reason is because they're using the different wavelength so the risk the, the wavelength of the laser generated by these two fiber optic modules are different and except for the wavelength we also need to consider the temperature the the, these two are the industry grade product. The advantage of the industry grade product is it can stand a wide range temperature. Uh, this is more critical, especially when we deploy the switch outdoor, because the temperature could run up quickly in summer. And if we just pick the commercial grade product for outdoor, the op optical signal could go wrong. Now the next is about a distance. That's why I, I mentioned that this different distance for the it depends on the fiber, fiber optic module. This module can transmit 20 kilometers from point A to point B. There are some modules which can transmit even longer, such like the 80 kilometer. But in most of the cases, we may just need a couple kilometers. And the next is the speed. This is one gig fiber optic module and this is the 10 gig fiber optic module and you may ask can we just using the 10, 10 gig fiber optic module to have 10 gig bandwidth uh, it depends it depends on your switch like this one it's only have the one gig so even you using the 10 gig fiber optic module it's still it's not work and this one is com compatible for 10 gig and the one gig so and the other thing, the size is slightly different. All right, let's see. This is the one gig fiber optic module, and this is ten gig. It's a little bit different. The ten gig is is little bit bigger, so we cannot just install the ten gig to the one gig switch. It's not going to work. And now let's just make a quick connection. I'm going to pick this one gig, and we are using. This is outdoor QE switch. So first, I will install this fiber optic module to the slot. And the other end, I'm going to pick one of the port. Now, both switch are ready to connect to the fiber optic cable. And I'm going to pick there's two fiber optic cable in this pre-terminal fiber optic cable. I just need one, and I use the A so to connect to the so take off the cap. 
All right, make sure it's insert title. Now let's go to the fill out auto switch. We need to pass the cable through the water proof cap. And now it's the water proof ring. And pass, we also need to use the 8 to match to, to the uh, switch. Right, it's very neat, it takes a while. So I'm going to insert the fiber optic module. Once we plug in, all right, I just got the wrong one because I'm using the B, so I'm going to exchange to the A. It's important to keep it out of the dust. Then I'm going to use the A. Let's just wait for a while. You see that we've got the image immediately. So the connection is pretty simple. 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 There one, before we close the video, there one more module I would like to introduce. This is the fiber optic to couple adapter. If we just don't have enough Couple connector like RJ45 port, we can insert this couple module adapter to the fiber optic slot and then got extra RJ45 port. Alright, that's all. Thank you for watching. If you have any question about the fiber module, you can leave a comment below. Have a nice day.